We are in Windows Server 2019, and let's take a look at how we can turn Network Discovery on. So we're going to go ahead and click on File Explorer and click on Network. And from here we get a message that says the Network Discovery is turned off. We we'll go ahead and click OK, and then we see a message that says it's turned off again, and we can just click on it and choose Turn on Network Discovery and File Sharing. Now, if we want to, we can click there, or if you're already in Network and Sharing Center, you can go ahead and click on Open Network and Internet Settings, then scroll down, click on Network and Sharing Center. So it looks a little different than it did back in 2012 and 2016. And then we can click on Change Advanced Sharing, and we can just click Turn on Network Discovery there. We can also turn on or off file and printer sharing as well. Let's go ahead and click Save. Now, if that doesn't work, or if it works, but then it doesn't work after you have uh, restarted your server, then you need to make sure you turn on some services. So we can see now that this has worked for us. However, when we restart the server, it's possible it may not work again. So we need to ensure that it will by going into Server Manager, then go to Tools, and click on Services. So we need to make sure that several services are turned on. The first one is probably going to already be turned on, and that's going to be the DNS client. Now, this is true whether this is a domain controller or not. So we also need to look at some other services as well. Let's go down to the Function Discovery Resource Publication. Double-click on that, and we're going to change that to Automatic and click Apply, and then we're going to start it up. Click OK. Next thing we're going to go to is SSDP Discovery. So just press the letter S. It takes you down to the S's. And there's our SSDP Discovery. Double click on that. We'll do the same thing. Automatic, apply, and start. Click OK. And the last one is going to be our UPnP. There we go. Device host. Double click. Automatic, apply, and start. When we're all done, we'll go ahead and click Close. And just to confirm everything is still working, we'll hit the Refresh key. Looks good. And so if you restart, you should still be able to see all of your servers and other devices. If for some reason you don't, go back and check to make sure those services are started. Now, if every time you restart, those services go back to being disabled or stopped, then you need to check to see if there's a group policy or a local security policy that might be causing those to stop every time you restart the server.